So, um, yeah, so very briefly on my team. So uh, I'm so privileged to be the PI of two uh, ERC grants, uh, starting a consolidator grant for about 3 million euros and a Google, a Google Focus Research Award, uh, among others. And I'm leading a team of about 10 young researchers, PhD students, postdocs, and so on. So our research fields are uh, multilingual natural language processing, so text understanding, multilinguality, semantic parsing, and computational axial semantics. So the key goal that we are uh, pursuing is uh, enabling multilingual machine reading. So if machines could read and understand the entire web, uh, then they could really answer all kinds of questions, uh, summarize, and so on. The problem is language is ambiguous, and so we need to tackle these, these kinds of ambiguities, and uh, it's very complex. Um, and the fundamental goal in my research group is to uh, associate human readable semantics, so to associate meaning that can be also understood by humans to text, while uh, we, we all use uh, deep learning uh, for uh, um, improving performances in all kinds of tasks in natural language processing, and my objective, uh, our objective is to uh, uh, assign meaning to uh, the outputs, but also to uh, the inner workings of uh, these kinds of uh, machine learning techniques that are well known uh, not to be easy uh, to provide uh, accountable um, um, answers. Um, and so the idea is to integrate explicit knowledge into supervised machine learning and also into an, a different paradigm called knowledge-based uh, uh, learning. So the point is that uh, uh, the initial starting point was uh, existing resources like dictionaries, encyclopedias, multilingual resources. However, neither of them talks to others. And uh, so they are all disconnected. There's a lot of information here. Uh, and the, the first idea, which was the original idea of the first ERC grant, was to build BabelNet, a multilingual knowledge graph that would merge many different lexical knowledge resources into a unified semantic network. So we uh, basically merged uh, all the various uh, meaning entries uh, by taking care of uh, merging the right meanings of the different words in different dictionaries, encyclopedias, and so on. And this is BabelNet. Uh, it all started with merging WordNet and Wikipedia. Uh, why? Because WordNet is, is, for English is the largest uh, uh, openly available machine readable dictionary and computational lexicon um, and, uh, and it can also be viewed as a graph. Uh, on the other side you have Wikipedia which provides uh, uh, millions of named entities, specialized concepts and multilinguality. And by merging them and identifying the uh, same concepts in the two resources, then you can create uh, a million uh, entry uh, resource like BabelNet. <coughs> Um, so what is BabelNet today? It's a merger of many different resources. So not only WordNet, which uh, uh, takes care of English, but also many other multilingual WordNets, Wikipedia, Wikidata, Wiktionary, Omega Wiki, several other resources of different kinds, and all of them are seamlessly integrated into a single knowledge graph. So the key concept is multilinguality. So the main reason for building BabelNet is to enable multilinguality for free. So that uh, whatever application in NLP you're going to build, then you push a button and you, you make it work in any other language. That's the point. Um, it's, not, it, it, it's not machine translation. We are building the uh, underlying knowledge that can be used in any kind of uh, machine learning approach to enable multilinguality. So for example, these are the translations of Allen Wrench across languages thanks to the integration of uh, all these resources. You can query BabelNet online and get, for example, uh, com compare the translations and the definitions across languages. Um, concepts uh, like those that you can find in a dictionary and named entities like uh, companies, people and so on are uh, together. So they are brought together in a single graph, in a single multilingual network and you can explore this network in many different ways, algorithmically and so on. Um, it also uh, puts forward an idea of dictionary of the future so that uh, the structure of the information is different from traditional dictionaries like those that we uh, all know. And there are also pictures, there are multiple definitions, synonyms for the same meaning, and so on. And all of this can be exploited for multilingual natural language processing. BabelNet is now live. 
uh, meaning that uh, it's updated on, uh, on an hourly basis um, from all the various sources that we integrate and now contains 16 million concepts and identities, 2 billion semantic relations and covering almost 300 languages. It's very well known worldwide. Um, it won the uh, 2017 Prominent Paper Award of the I Journal. It attracted the attention of the EU. We organized uh, a workshop at the end of the first ERC project uh, in Luxembourg, the Luxembourg Parliament. Uh, it was covered by The Guardian and Time magazine. Um, and so what, now you might ask, I mean, I would ask as a computer scientist, why would you build such a resource? Is it just for human consumption? No, actually the main reason is to enable multilingual disambiguation of text. When you, when you have a sentence like here, for example, the sentence was, uh, Thomas and Mario uh, are strikers playing in Munich. I mean, all, most, all of these words are ambiguous. Striker, in which meaning, Mario, who's Mario, who's Thomas, Who's, uh, uh, which, which sense of Munich? Is it the team? Is it the city? And so on. And so by exploiting uh, um, the knowledge structure and at the same time informing machine learning algorithms, you can identify those meanings that are uh, most appropriate for a given context. And that's what we did uh, by enabling uh, something that was not possible before due to the lack of training data. So there's no training data for enabling multilingual disambiguation in non-English languages virtually. <coughs> and while this is now possible thanks to Babelnet and the uh, disambiguation algorithm that we built uh, called Babelfy, which also disambiguates not only concepts, to, uh, nouns or verbs, but also uh, named entities. So it does this together, so it takes advantage of the connections between named entities and concepts. Uh, recently, we published a paper uh, on integrating BabelNet into neural network models. And this is a, a bio-LSTM with an attention layer, uh, thanks to which we are given as input uh, text. And we output um, uh, words when there's no explicit meaning to be associated and concepts when uh, this is uh, possible in uh, virtually any language. And so this association also uh, at, at the output layer enables um, words and uh, concept to be in the same uh, uh, vector space. And uh, uh, we also proved that uh, you can train the model in a single language, like in English, and then uh, use it in another language because of, uh, uh, thanks to taking advantage of uh, Babelnet's multilinguality. Um, we also uh, built on top of uh, these technologies, uh, for example, this is a news from today, I hope the browser, yeah. So this is a news from today in Italian, so I'll just copy and paste a snippet of it. Oops, hope it doesn't take too long. <laughs> yeah, so let's say until here, for example. And uh, so we built a system called Extraggo. Do you see it? Yeah. Um, which uh, applies uh, all our technologies to um, disambiguate the text, identify the key locations, identify the domain. So if I don't speak Italian, what does it talk about? These are the named entities involved and they are disambiguated according to Babelnet and these are the concepts involved. It talks about what is ospedale, what is genitor, I don't know. But if I just say, please give me this meaning in any of the languages in Babelnet, then those uh, topics that were identify can be translated in any language and we can view this also in structured form uh, via a graph view that shows oh no well it seemed to work anyway no problem um, it's, anyway and you can view similar documents sorry so these are semantically similar documents that talk about similar uh, topics so we're talking about uh, as we saw in uh, here in English uh, hospital, a baby, otitis, problem, and so and this and these things are identified in text uh, in the original language. So it's not a translation. We're not performing machine translation. We are disambiguating and then associating a multilingual concept that then can be translated into any other language. Maybe we can see what comes out in Chinese, in Japanese. Sorry, and uh, well, I don't know if it makes sense because I don't speak Japanese, but I hope so. <laughs> Um, okay, going back to the presentation. So the future of Babelnet and Reader Technologies is in a uh, Sapienza, actually startup company, I should say, 
called Babelscape. It's one of the 22 companies mentioned earlier. Uh, the key objective is to make these technologies uh, sustainable over time because the, pro the first ERC project is over and we want to make this uh, sustainable. And the income is reinvested in Babel and the subsequent projects. And currently we are working for the EU, for the Italian government, for big companies. Um, now, where to go from here? Uh, this uh, first ERC project in which we created Babelnet and uh, multilingual disambiguation uh, is over. Um, but uh, now we started a consolidate, an ERC consolidator grant, thanks to which we are moving from just uh, creating a multilingual repository of concepts to a repository of structured semantic representations of sentences. So now we are moving from words to sentences, and these semantic representations again will be language independent. So we are moving from concepts to language independent semantic representations, and we're also moving from disambiguation to semantic parsing. Disambiguation produces a bag of concepts, they are not structured, while semantic parsing produces a structure uh, uh, of the meaning of the sentence. And this will be done in a language independent fashion. So the final representation will be independent of the language from which it will be created. And so then it will also enable natural language generation as a result of this. That is all. Thanks or merci.